Okay, so this is the description of the setup. It says that somebody is throwing a ball with some initial speed of 18 meter per second. And um, I guess if you are thinking of our usual idealized situation where we say energy is conserved, then you know the ball will go up to some position of maximum potential energy, and then it'll fall down. And when it comes back down, it'll be moving downward at the same speed of 18 meters per second. Because when it's at the same height, with energy conservation, it should have the same kinetic energy it started out with. But here, it's saying that the ball doesn't have the same speed. It has speed of 17 meters per second, assuming it returned to the same height. And it's uh, asking how much work does air resistance to, to do on the ball during its flight. So energy is uh, not conserved. And I guess, uh, so it's uh, almost always easier when energy is conserved, because when energy is conserved, you can say things like total energy at some point is equal to total energy at some other point. And when we say energy is not conserved and say that this equality doesn't hold anymore, sometimes the challenge is to, okay, so how do we rewrite this equation so that um, uh, so that we, we have something that we can solve for some other things and then plug in numbers too. And uh, there are different ways to approach it. One way would be to say that the energy in one snapshot and the energy in other snapshot can be made to equal each other if we say uh, we add uh, whatever work done by non-conservative force. So that's one way to do it. Uh, sometimes I think I get confused on which side this should be added. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess one, one other way to do this where the, I think this kind of confusion is avoided a little bit better is to think in terms of your initial and final, kinet, final energy. So you can think in terms of the change in the total energy, which should be your total uh, final energy minus the total initial energy. And in the situations where energy is conserved, this is equal to zero because there shouldn't be any change. Now, in situations where there is a change, you say, okay, so whatever change there is, that's attributable to the work done by the non-conservative force. So this is the route I'm going to take because I think I have a way to easily write down my final total energy and the initial total energy, basically based on these velocities and kinetic energy, and say that that difference is going to come to work done by non-conservative force. So, um, oh yeah, then I think that my algebra is actually done. I will say work done by non-conservative force is my final kinet uh, total energy, one half m phi final squared, that's this, minus my initial kinetic energy, one half m phi initial squared, that's this. I had, think I have all the numbers. I have the mass. Um, it says give the absolute value, so I'll run it. Uh, we'll see. And I'll just ignore, I, it's, it's, I think it's going to end up being negative, but I'm going to ignore the negative side. Okay, so let's plug in all the numbers into my calculator and uh, see where we go from. So um, I think I have all the symbols except for initial velocity. So one half times mass times V final squared minus one half times mass times V initial squared. Um, let's make sure, okay, I have all the symbols there. Um, substitute in, mass is equal to 0 0.1 kilogram. V final is going to be 17 meters per second. V initial is going to be 18 meters per second. Um, and yeah, minus 1.75 uh, joules. It says round, but let me try not rounding and see if it dings me for that. 1.75. I guess that's fine. Um, just I'm just gonna do a slight change because I, 
um, like that. So, so I mean, as far as the question is posed, this is the that's it. Uh, let me just uh, uh, fix this up. I'm just gonna um, do this uh, on recording, but it's something I'm gonna edit out for the future. Let's just double check that the thing worked out the way I intended it to. So mass of 0 0.15, ending, uh, I guess these bits don't change. So if I put in minus 2.63, that's correct. And plus 2.63, it's also correct. 